here's three tips on improving your forehand. First tip, when you take your racket back, take the arm with you, this left arm, okay? If we leave our arm in front of us, it leaves our shoulders a little bit more open, and then we can't get as much rotation. So at the very least, try and get that arm out parallel to the baseline. And if you want some extra power, you can rotate a little bit further with that left arm. Now you see how my shoulders are turned. I'm almost got my back to you. This is a great position to coil out of into the forehand. Your second forehand tip is to take that racket back early and take it back slowly. The two worst things you can do is take it back quick because then you're going to have time where you stop back there and you've disjointed your take back, you've lost the acceleration. If you can keep it smooth all the way around, that's best. But to make it nice and smooth all the way around, we can't be late on the shot. So we have to take our racket back as soon as our opponent hits the ball. Say you've split stepped in the middle of the court, you're going to do your unit turn and with the unit turn comes the grip change and then we can move to the ball in that shape. But we don't want to take it back wait and then hit we want to try and make it a bit smoother so with your rhythm and your timing take that racket back slowly so you can do it in all one smooth motion the third tip on improving your forehand is the drop okay we've taken our racket back nice and early and smooth we've got our left hand pointing off to the side now we need to drop the racket before we come up and through that shot because if we don't drop it, the problem tends to be that you'll try and hit that ball from up here and go straight down, and that's gonna produce sometimes backspin on the ball, sometimes it's just gonna be very flat and you'll lose your consistency. So make sure that when we get into that, that position, that power position, we drop our racket and then come up on the ball. And that's gonna give you more top spin. Okay, your bonus tip is to adjust your follow through depending on how much spin that you want. So, your normal position is going to be over or on the left shoulder with the elbow pointing to the target. If you want more spin, you can finish with that racket above the head on the other side. Less spin, maybe you want more power. Finish a little bit lower down. And if you want that ball to dip, say you're on, a, on a, an approach shot and you want that ball to come up and down pretty quick, you can finish nice and low. 